Well, we're here with Healy Bell of Mill Ridge Farm. This is the first day of the Keeneland September yearling sale. Healy coming into this sale, we've got a couple of things going on. One is everybody seems to be pretty optimistic about the market. And also we have a new format change in which what was previously two days of sales have been spread out over four days. First of all, what do you think is going to happen here? Well, I think uh, we're, I, I'm a little more realistic about the market. I think it's going to continue to be quite selective. Um, I'm very hopeful, uh, but you can't lose sight of the fact that there are 900 select well-bred horses that are in the sale that have to be absorbed by everybody. So expectation-wise from the consigners, they believe they brought nice horses here. It'll just be a, a matter of the depth of the market with buyers. Um, and it seems as if historically everybody falls on those few horses and the others fall by the wayside, which is a natural process. But uh, I'm hopeful, uh, but I'm also somewhat uh, uh, reserved in, in that, that enthusiasm until I see, see the playlist. And as far as the format goes, um, they, Keeneland's done a very good job to try to uh, place as many horses, select horses, into uh, a short period of time as they possibly can. And um, for me, the format is much better that they have it over the four days rather than the, the night sessions and breaking it up like that. Um, the struggle is, for instance, we're in barn 43 and you start down in barn 22 and you hike all the way through these, these barns and it's just um, by the time you get like to ourselves, and again, you always think about yourselves. But by the time you you know your your attitude might have been might have changed, and here we are starting with a fresh barn and fresh horses. So for a buyer to maintain that enthusiasm after so much hard work is is a bit of a challenge, I think. So why did you want to be up here on the hill, out of the, off the beaten path? <laughs> I, I I didn't have a choice. I uh, understand. They, they provide that to you, and, and I'll tell you, we have the most beautiful barn there is, and I'm not complaining. It's just reality of it, you know, well, and that. And there's not, there's not a lot one can do because it's just a lot of hard work no matter what. This is a September sale. People rely on their teams of, of lookers ahead of time. And it's just a lot of work in a short period of time. So, as I say, Keeneland's done what they can. It's just it's just a difficult uh, challenge to, to put it all together in, in one spot. By all accounts, everybody is trying to feel positive about the format change. And yes. think uh, there, there are a lot of people here, so maybe that... Uh, scheme of things that did work out but everybody keeps saying there should be some tweaking well that's a natural thing anytime you're changing you're gonna you're gonna take a look and see how it's been the great thing is that Keeneland is willing to, to work and they, they they want it better than anybody else so when you have that kind of attitude that's all you can ask for but that's just it's uh, I don't have any solution at all but it's just the reality of you know the difficult challenge of getting through these barns and then once you once you cross that that echelon of that climb of that hill, it's like oh my god, here we go. So we happen to be on a beautiful spot at the top, but we're hopeful. Everything's good. So for those people who've not made the trek up here, what can you tell us about what you have to offer up here and why they should come up here or look at your horses in the back ring? <laughs> they have they have made the trek, so that's not that's not the issue. Uh, I'm 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 satisfied with that. It's just a matter of the frame of mind of all all the work and such. And by the time you get up here. So what we have is we have a half sister operator Gross by Tisnow, who's a lovely filly. Um, we've got a, a, a beautiful Malibu Moon filly uh, that's a half to power broker, and she's a she's 438. She's a beautiful filly, a very nice distorted humor uh, colt that's a half to Winslow Homer, and just a number of we're selling 15, and I'd say we have about uh, six that are really standout kind of horses. Great, I trust your judgment. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Ron. Very much.